Can you see me and can you hear me? <laughs> Brian, your answer does not count. Nobody's answering me. <laughs> See, all my moderators are here, along with Joy and Vic. Okay, thank you, Brian. So, tonight we're going to finish off some ornaments, but I'm going to show them to you first. So, these were the little trees. See how the gold um, kind of worked its way through? No definite lines, that's what I like. So it looks, so it's barely there, but it's super cute. Hi, Susan. So these are the stars. They look so nice with resin on them, don't they? These we did on a live. And this one as well. So tonight I'm going to show you how to back them and get them ready to sell. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Everything I'm using tonight for both things I'm going to show you, everything is in my Amazon shop and it's at the very beginning of the Amazon shop. So I put the link below in the description. All you have to do is click on that. It takes you right to that page. You can click what you want to buy. Everything's there. All right, so... Since I have the tree sitting here, I thought we would do that one because I already did the gold edging on these. So I'm going to try using the Krylon marker. I haven't been having good luck with these because I've used them so much that they really don't want to participate very well. So I'm just going to push it down for a bit and see if I can get something to flow. Hi, Monica. Yeah, I'm going to... Probably end up having to use my deco art. I'm not a big fan of the deco art marker either. <laughs> oh my goodness, they don't want to release any paint at all. And when they do, it's a puddle. Alright, so we're just going to touch the edges. See what happens with the deco art? It goes to the front. So if that happens, let me show you a quick, easy cleanup on that. Because you want to do it as soon as you see it go little bit of alcohol and wipe it right off you may have to rub a bit to get it um, dissolved but it comes off and it doesn't damage your resin so I don't want to use that one but I also use the Malatow but they don't have this in gold this is liquid chrome hi Patricia hi Bonnie so let's see if we can get this one to work again. If not, I'm going to go get my Sharpie, and that's what I'm going to do. I have the PBO ones, but they are the big wide tips that I use for tiles. So we're just going to use a gold Sharpie. It's not going to be as bright of a gold, but it'll serve its purpose. And it'll probably take me longer because these are old. I've been sitting out here forever. But you could also use gold gilding. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to mess with that. <laughs> That's useless. All right. I'm going to get the big gun out. So we'll use the PPL. It's not as pretty gold, though. But it does work. I like the real shiny gold. But you want to make sure that you're covering any little bit of white you see. Cover that, because you don't want to see that. So 
So tonight we're going to start a tumbler, dragon scale tumbler. So I just wanted to show you guys how I finish these. All right. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And we're going to play with the arabesque first. Now, I did cut some velvets, not corks. See how you, you want that gold edge? Because you will see it. You don't want these to go all the way to the end because they might peel. But to be on the safe side, because I don't know how well this stuff will stick, let me just check it real quick. I don't know, it's pretty sticky. Let's see. And I have this in my Amazon shop too. Yeah, see, I don't trust that. T to at least last, you know? So I did get some Gorilla Glue rubber cement. So we're going to try that. Hi, Joella. So I'm going to glue it down because I just don't trust it. And you don't have to use a lot, just enough to get those edges to stick really well. And then I'll flip this over and let it sit. Yeah, I don't think that would have stuck very long. But the cork I use works amazing. But it's really a pain to cut all these corks out. Alright. So I'm going to let that sit. I don't want the edge. Let's see which way would I hang that. That way. Okay, so I'm going to lift this one up a little bit. We'll come back to it because I can reposition that. Actually, I better glue it because I only have five minutes on that. So after five minutes, the stuff is like regular glue. So we're going to put a bale on. These are on my Amazon shop. They have one package where you get four different colors. You don't have to buy all silver or all gold. All gold. Alright. So this, I just stick a dot of glue. You can put it on the bale or you can put it here. I'm going to stick that on there. And like I showed before, I hold it down with a pencil. Make sure you're even. Hi, Helen. Okay, and I'm going to stick this back down. So when my bale is on there, it's on the very end. You can barely see it. Now these don't have holes in them, so I don't have to glue a rhinestone on them. So I'm going to move that one aside and let it sit on its back. This is the Michaels ornament. I was not impressed with the ability of the paint to stick well. Definitely like the ones from Hobby Lobby better. So I'm glad that they are coming. They should be here tomorrow. They're just, I don't know, the paint, the house paint just does not really like those. You have to be super careful when you're pulling your tape. So I'm going to get this one on. That one really fit pretty good. I must have cut that really well. <laughs> These were not fun to cut out, let me tell you. Make sure that these stick on and don't come off. We'll do the same thing, glue the bale on and set it aside before we do the next step. Now anything you get over will rub off because it's rubber cement. So I want to stick that and pull it back so that that glue is on that edge. Okay. And I'm sure Gorilla Glue will be fine with Gorilla Glue. Hold it down with your pencil. 
handsome. Darnell. Okay, so I know that's stuck enough. Now on this one, you can't really see the hole, so I'm not have to worry about gluing a rhinestone there. And this doesn't have mates, it's a singular. So I don't have to worry about gluing that on there. But I'll show you how to do the star, because I think the star has the yeah, you can see the little hole. All right, so for the star, I have to play with this for a second because they're not all exactly the same. That looks pretty good. Hi, Joanne. Did I miss anybody? Susan's saying hi to Jackie. Is Jackie here? Okay. So let's get these glued down. I wanted to move pretty quick on these tonight because I'm so excited to do that, that tumbler. <laughs> Something different. Yeah, those sounded like they stuck pretty good, but I don't trust them. Alright, let's get our bale on. Now the rubber cement will not work for the bale. It's just not going to be strong enough. So you want to use a super glue product. I like to stick them with the uh, texture side up instead of down so that the hanger hangs behind the ornament. This one's sliding a little bit. I already glued my fingers together once today, Susan. <laughs> sure it doesn't come off okay so we're gonna glue that rhinestone on now so I just buy these little ones I don't I don't know if I got these on Amazon I'm gonna have to go back through my orders and look because um, I may have gotten those from uh, Aliexpress Or Hobby Lobby. Maybe it was Hobby Lobby. Because, you know, I order lots of stuff from Hobby Lobby. I know it wasn't Michael's. So that's a tiny little rhinestone. You can wet the tip of your finger and put it on. But I have paint all over my fingers. So I'm just going to try to... Well, you know what? I can put it in place. It'll be easier. So that covers up the hole, and it's sparkly. Makes it unique. I like the way that bale's sitting, though. Let's re-glue that. I have a whining puppy outside my door. He wants to be out here. All right, let's do our tree. Now that our paint marker's dry. Okay. Now, if you do the trees, you know how we poured the paint? I still want to put a rhinestone there at the very top because it could mimic a star, kind of. I'm 
I'm being very generous with the uh, rubber cement because this is a porous tile. And they were sticking pretty good without it, but I have to do one for this year and see how it holds up. All right, let's do our bale. push that down I unhooked it. So you want to make sure you hold it long enough. Yeah, I would I did these as uh, gift tags two years ago for all of my family for gifts. And I always make one for my grandkids. A special one. I only have three grandkids, thank goodness. <laughs> I can't imagine buying for that many kids. That would be crazy. Alright, so the hole was here. So let's put a rhinestone there. That um, bale is not behaving on that one. I may have to re-glue it. But this Gorilla Glue is amazing. Like if any of um, your Brian toys, if the feet break off or you break a tile holder, tile stand, anything, you can glue it with that super glue. It stays. I haven't had any come apart after I glued them. So then, since they're all gold, I got these on Shine. If you need the product code for this or a link for this, you'll have to email me because I, I can't. For some reason, I couldn't link it. But you can just use cording, um, gold or silver cording or multicolored cording, whatever floats your boat. put these through and these snap um, it probably wouldn't hurt when you get a heavy tile to put a drop of glue there maybe so that won't, won't come apart but they snap shut they're pretty good they're gift tag holders but they work great for this you could put a little bow here to cover that up but you don't want to take away from your art. So I'll get these on. I have super glue on my finger. Susan jinxed me. <laughs> super cute. Super cute. And I know those fit through the bales nice because I used them last year. So I had a few people ask me what I would charge for ornaments. So if you're selling locally, um, you could probably get eight, eight to ten bucks a piece for them maybe if they're bloomed. If they're like this, you could probably get six to eight because they are resined. If you're selling online and you need to cover fees and stuff, 12 bucks, 10, 12 bucks. Like these here, I wouldn't mark them less than 12 bucks because that's beautiful. And the star shape is unique. It's not just a round ornament. 
So that's how I finish them off. Now the square ones, which I did not bring out, those will get corked because I'm going to put a little note in with those that say when you're done with me on your tree, um, you can use me as a coaster. So that way they can use it all year round. I'm just going to hit my fingers with some alcohol and get that glue off. Hi, Kathy Mac. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I think I caught everybody coming in. All right. So let's get the ornament stuff out of the way. Because now it's time to play with dragon scale. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because when I do it on a video, I have a fan running behind me blowing the fumes that way. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that tonight. So hopefully I won't cough. So these are from Michael's. You, I buy them by the case. I did put some in my Amazon shop, the skinny tumblers. I think there's four or six in the pack. So if you just want to do a few, you can. So I just take the stickers all off, take the top off, and I'll wipe it down with alcohol before I start it. I'm going to get some gloves on first. Less what, Brian? I missed the combo. <laughs> okay. Gotta have my towel. This is the towel I used for the last one. If I'm gonna chuck it, I might as well use it again. I may have to raise you guys up just a smidge. Just a smidge. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this down with alcohol. I did put a UV light in my Amazon shop that's $9.99. It will serve its purpose if you want to do these. But the resin is expensive, I'm not going to kid you. The resin I use is made in the USA, not in China. And I use solar res. This is not cheap. It's like 50 bucks for this bottle. But you can get a ton of cups out of this. And today I'm using Crocodile Tears. This is the color I bought for Brian. So we're going to do this color today. Okay, so I need to mix up some resin. Now, this does not need a lot of resin at all. I don't even think you, I don't even think you use maybe a little over an ounce, maybe. I take it up to um, halfway on a five ounce cup, less than my pinky. <laughs> That's all you need. So make sure that you put this away from the UV light. It is in a black bottle, which is nice. And this resin cleans up great with alcohol. So if you get it on your hands or on your gloves, you can wipe it off. Okay, I'm going to spill some of this water out because I don't need that much. So I like to mix um, almost double the amount of water I have with dish soap and we're going to be using Dawn because you want lots of bubbles hi Deirdre okay got my straw I'm going to stir that up a little bit doesn't matter if you make bubbles because you're going to use them anyway 
Okay, let's get our chameleon powder in there. Super cool, Brian. I love this color. So I'm just taking the end of my stick and I'm going to see if that's enough. Ooh, that's a cool color. So now if you're doing it on a white tumbler, I wouldn't even color the resin. I would wait until you're all done putting the bubbles on and go through with the powder and paint it on like I did in the video on the white one. So why waste the chameleon powder? So I don't think I need more than that. Yeah, I know it does, doesn't it, Bray? I want bubbles. Okay, so I'm using my UV light. We will be doing 120 seconds on the cure. And then tomorrow, if it's sunny outside, I'll set it outside for 10 minutes just to get the sunlight on it, if the sun's shining. Okay, so let's put some on. So you don't want to go, and I'm, I'm hiding my cup over here behind some bottles so that UV light doesn't hit it. I don't like to go more than like two inches wide because then you run into problems with it dripping. You watched my video, you saw that. I'm not worried about the bottom because I want to put a label on the bottom. So that will just be painted with the chameleon powder and then uh, one coat of resin, then my label, and then another coat of resin. That's a pretty shifty color. I like that. Okay. Have a rag ready with alcohol so you can wipe your finger off. Otherwise you'll have resin everywhere. Bubble time. Now the, oh boy. The bubbles will melt. Ah, I need more soap, I think. I already got water on it. this cup it doesn't like the it doesn't like the bubbles let me get a paper cup I'll use a small one and I'll bubble over problem first time. I had lots of bubbles. All right. Let's see what happens. They're going to be big, big dragon scales. Okay. I have it on the timer now. So you will smell this when it starts to cure because UV resin heats up as it's curing. I don't know how many of you may get gel nails. Um, you'll feel how your fingernails get warm and that's exactly what this does. And that's why it pops the bubbles. Yeah, Michaels is not really good with their packing, Joella. 
Just saying. <laughs> That's why I pretty much only order canvas from them. And I make sure I buy it by the case so it's in the original case. Hobby Lobby gives me way too much bubble wrap. It's like everything's got five layers of bubble wrap on it. It's like a waste of money to me. I'm going to add more water to those bubbles. I think that might be a problem. I maybe have too much soap. I'm pretty sure she said to one. I don't remember what I did last time. Okay, so we didn't get real cool scales on that one, but it's just one section, which I'm not too worried about, but I'm going to definitely work harder on the next one. Like these drips here, on my video I did not take those off, but I'm going to now because they're just going to be in the way of the next layer, and you should be able to peel it off. Maybe not. There it goes. Because it didn't get the light all the way, so it's not cured to the cup like the other one. Alright, let me add some more water to that. Have fun, Joanne. Okay. I wipe my hands down. I'm all bubbles. Just want to make sure I don't have slimy fingers going in here. Okay, here we go. It's got to go in its hiding spot so it doesn't cure in my cup. <laughs> So we'll probably do another <clears throat> tutorial on these as I find different ways that we can use the scale, like maybe diagonally on a cup with something else. You want to get enough on there that you can make the scales, you just don't want it super thin because it'll run. Hi Linda. Hi Julia. No, I have not accidentally cured it in my cup, but I've been told to hide it. <laughs> That's what I needed, more water. So it's more water than soap. Sorry guys. And I like the little bubbles because it gives you a really cool look. Alright, let's cure it. Now I can read chat while that's going. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making a bubble mess. It's just it's just soap and water. It's, it's not paint and it's not resin. So. <laughs> it's washing material. I can wash my table off when I'm done. My OCD has been really bad this week. Um, like everything's bothering me right now. I go through times when it does that. Okay, that one came out much better. 
So we got the little bubbles on that one. See the little ones? I wish there was a way to take that off and do it again. <laughs> I'd have to a lot of peeling and scraping and I don't want to do that. All right, let's let it over. And it's not sticky, it's cured. UV resin's pretty cool. Okay, let's do our next section. I should have just enough resin to finish this. I hope, that's no biggie. I can always mix up a tad more. It's not like two part resin, it's just out of the bottle. And that's the other thing, you don't have to stir and stir and stir. But it's not food safe, so I have to put food safe resin over this. And it takes more than one coat because of the dragon scale texture. So you have to put more on. I'm going to see how, what two coats gets me and see, I may have to put three. So it'll definitely be a thicker cup. I'm really digging this. Um, Chameleon powder, Brian. It's got like a blue, green, yellow. It's super cool. It's definitely something fun to do, something different. Okay. Fun to watch the bubbles pop from the light. Actually, my air purifier is blowing air over my shoulder, so it's keeping the fumes out of my face. I normally wear a respirator with UV resin. only 60 on that one. I got a big gob of small bubbles there so it's got this unique little look. I am going to go back through after I'm done and dust some of that chameleon powder on it because I want it to be super, super, super green. Okay, let's see if I can finish this off on one row here. Stick into my towel. The little teethies from the dragon scale. So after you let it cure for a while, um, I'm gonna, I sanded my other ones a little bit to take it down a little bit, and it did work really well. So maybe I won't need three coats of resin. That's my plan anyway. <laughs> to try to not have to have a lot of resin coats. Because I, I, well, it's not a big deal for me because I have five uh, tumbler turners. So I can have all five going at one time. But it's just putting them um, on my resin table and then I'm locked in for days, you know, and I can't do anything else over there. Because right now I'm trying to get myself a Sysex working space, and I have my sublimation printer and my heat press and my hat press, so I need space to do all that other stuff. Okay, let's get this last one done. Get 
beyond the cup. Is getting the bubbles off your hands not fun either? Okay. I'm gonna go one more click on this one. Oh, Kathy Mack, that's awful. <laughs> well, at least I hope you had lunch while you were there. <laughs> Day early. Oh, my. I do need another garage. Why well, need just one more bay? <laughs> just one more bay would do it. I could put all my cupboards in there and then I wouldn't have them out here and this could all be work area. I'm packed in here like a sardine. I Everywhere I look I have a cabinet or a rack or but when I bring boxes out here, then I'm walking sideways to get through, and I trip, and I break toes. Right, Shell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got to get Shelly and Brian and Darnell and... Get them to make these. It would be cool. Mona's already made them. Super cool. This time, you won't see this because I'm going to go through with the powder. And we're going to brighten it up some. But i got to dry it off first. I'm watching my time. I don't want to go over because Mona's gonna go luck, go premiere at nine. Okay, so I got all the moisture off, I think. So now I'm gonna clean that bottom with a little bit of alcohol. And the top I'm not worried about. I'll be worried about it after I do my other resins. Okay, let's move this. Clean as you go. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. I made Ellen dinner tonight. After he brought home two uh, rotisserie chickens and I already had dinner done. I didn't answer the phone. It's my own fault. So we'll have rotisserie chicken tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I have too much stuff. I, I admit it. It's okay. I admit it. Alright, let me get a brush. I like real fluffy brushes for this. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder. That was a lot. I'm just going to work it in just to give it more of a, a metallic-y look. Shimmer, more shimmer. So, you, like I said, you could do clear bubbles on a white cup. And whatever color chameleon powder you put on there, it's going to cover it up because it sticks to the resin.
Uh, these powders are from KCC Darnell. If you need the link, I'll send it to you. But I did put a link, or in my Amazon shop, I did put some chameleon powders in there that were a little cheaper. Because this little jar right here is like $8.99. Um, you can also get chameleon powders from, the guy's name is Pearl Pleasures on Etsy. I buy a lot of mica powder from him for the paints and stuff. So, he's from Fayetteville, so I get my stuff next day, which works out good for me. That's why I use him. And his pricing's pretty good. So this is looking pretty cool. I'm getting to the spot where that I had the issue the first round, so I want to see how it's going to cover that. Because there's still resin there. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. It's covering it right up. You'd never know. They'll never know. <laughs> I watch too many reels. where we started. Looks it. It looks it. Alright, so now what is that? I see something. That's just a piece of something off the towel probably. Okay, so now on the bottom I'm just going to take the powder I'm going to rub it on there. And then I will spray seal this before I put the first coat of resin on, just to keep all the mica in place. Normally I'd be like, ah, I got powder everywhere, what a waste of money. But it's really, you do get quite a bit for the price. You don't think you do, but it goes a long way. I thought I saw a spot, but now I don't see it because of the shift. Okay, so I'm just going to brush it off. And there we have Crocodile Tear Dragon Tumbler. Isn't that cute? Yay! So that worked out great, even though I had a little blunder there in the beginning with the damn bubbles. <laughs> easy peasy. It's a very easy, tum uh, easy tumbler to do, just like the alcohol ink ones we did. Super easy. Okay, so any questions? while I can see the screen. Pearl Pleasure. Julie, uh, it's Pearl Pleasures on Etsy. So like I just ordered some, let me see. I missed one. So I want to say that these were like five bucks, maybe eight bucks. So I got this color. It shifts to gold and in blue. It's a teal. This is blue and purple. And then I bought the big, the big one of the uh, pink violet. This shifts to purple. So yeah, 
Those are pretty cool. I like that guy. Sometimes they send me freebies, little packages to try of other colors. But never enough to like do something like this though. Just a little bit. You can mix it in with resin and put it in a painting or something. So there it is. All shiny and pretty. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> it's so funny the way Brian spells stuff because we knew what we know what he's saying. He just spells it wrong. <laughs> um, no, these are not dishwasher safe. You should never wash a resined tumbler in the dishwasher. Hand wash only. And don't soak them in hot water. And then you shouldn't put them in the freezer either because of the, the epoxy. Yeah, if you, um, you know, like if you buy the ones that are colored in the stores, I usually have the other one out, but I'm using my tumbler from Darnell today because I love her. <laughs> she made that for me for my birthday. So if you buy the colored ones in the store, you could probably put those in the freezer, but never in the dishwasher. And it says right on them, do not put it in the dishwasher. Yeah. Well, guys, let's go to Mona's. We'll go watch her create something. She's making something for her granddaughter. So that'll be fun to watch. And if you think of something you forgot to ask me tonight, you know how to get a hold of me. Christina Welchart at yahoo.com. I'll be more than happy to steer you in a direction to get something. But have fun with your ornaments as well. Super pretty. I resin so much stuff yesterday. I, I have five racks full. So that Gorilla Glue worked great. So that didn't come off at all. So now I know. I mean, I still like the cork better, but got to do what we got to do. All right, guys. Love you all, and I will see you. Uh, I have a premiere on Saturday. Um, some ornaments. Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So come watch that. Hang out with me. With chit chat. And that's at 7 p.m. Saturday. It's kind of my premiering hour for Saturday. Oh, for the star? Um, it's a, We did it on, on a live, Sue. So I'll have to look to see which one it was, and I'll let you know. All right, guys. Um, I will see you Saturday at my premiere, or I will see you Monday. Don't forget, um, Crunchberry's Playhouse is this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then we're back to me on Monday. And right now, we're going to Mona's. All right, guys. Thank you. Love you. Bye.